Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Tuesday's news is remote zero-day car hacks. If you followed me for a while, you've probably heard of me talking about car hacking. I actually started in 2010 when I released my predictions where I said you should expect to see more car hacks in 2011 and beyond. And that has proven to be true between research from University of Washington and more recently researchers at IOActive found all kinds of different vulnerabilities in cars where they could take control of something called the CAN bus or the controller area network and actually send commands that could make cars do things. However, in most of these attacks, the uh, researchers or the attackers had to connect to the car in some physical way. They had to use the car's onboard diagnostic port or use maybe wireless Bluetooth sensors or things like that. However, in the security community, everyone suspected the biggest weakness in these cars are their onboard navigation, entertainment, and, and safety systems. These systems that connect to the internet, or at least cellular networks, to share data about your car. For instance, if you have an accident, uh, your car's uh, airbag computer shares this information online so someone can maybe call you up and see if you're okay. Anyways, those same IOActive researchers, Charlie Miller and Chris Phillips, Asset have actually released the holy grail in car hacking. They've shown how to remotely take control of a car. Specifically, they found a vulnerability that they haven't disclosed fully in a Chrysler's Uconnect system. And they showed this vulnerability in a Jeep Cherokee, but they suspect that it affects almost half a million different cars out there like Dakotas and Rams and other Chrysler Fiat vehicles. Anyways, if an attacker can find the secret cell phone number to your car, they can actually connect to this Uconnect system, take control of it, uh, upload some malicious firmware, and then do some lateral attacks that will allow them to take uh, control of many of the systems on your car. They can do trivial things like maybe play your music really loud, turn on your windshield wipers, and other silly things like that. But they can also do things like disable your brakes or make your engine stop, and many very dangerous things. In fact, in the Wired article about this, there's a video showing them do just that. So in any case, this this is a pretty big deal. Now, if you happen to own one of these cars, you might be wondering what you should do about this. The good news is Chrysler does have a patch for this flaw. It does require you to download special firmware on a USB stick and, and put that in your car, or to actually take the car to a dealer to get an update. And this shows one of the problems in security flaws in the Internet of Things. They're actually a little more difficult for consumers to update. In any case, if you own one of these cars, you definitely want to update it. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of technical details on the flaw that allowed them to perform this attack yet, but they do plan on disclosing it at Black Hat. Anyway, sorry that this video is late. I've been in all-day meetings, but I thought this was a big enough story to share with you today. Do know I'm in an all-day meeting tomorrow too, so I may not be able to give you my daily security bite tomorrow. Nonetheless, that's it for today, and thank you for watching.